Opa, look at that. This is gorgeous. We've got full sun today, and that means, ooh, can I say it? Free electricity? Oh, star, you can't say free because remember, nothing's free. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm gonna say it. This is free electricity. This array has already paid for itself and it's generating free electricity now in our house. That means we're not getting an electric bill anymore. We don't pay the utility company anymore. We don't have any smart meters. We get our electricity for free. Once those panels have been paid for and the battery and the inverter and all that has been paid for and you do your dollar cost averaging, it starts paying for itself after so many years. And we are actually to that point where it's paid for itself and now we are getting free electricity of going off the grid and having, say, a solar array or maybe a wind turbine with your solar array or maybe a little hydro is that you have broken free from the utility grid enslavement. And that's how we looked at it. Uh, when we decided to go 100% off the grid, we didn't want an electrical bill anymore. We didn't want the smart meter anymore. We didn't want the, uh, the electric company having the right to come into our property for that little smart meter and reading it. We didn't want any of that. We wanted to try to break free as, as, as best we could within the constraints of how, how we live nowadays. I mean, you know, uh, you still got to pay taxes. <laughs> Death and taxes are, are still a reality. There's no way around that. Uh, but we really wanted to break free and become as independent as we could. And for us, a solar array was very, very fitting. And, and you know, we could have gone 100% without electricity. In fact, our homestead is a very low-consuming homestead. Uh, you know, there are homesteads, they've got very large arrays. They have great setups with big propane tanks and, and uh, backup generators. And, and they can run freezers and they can run their TV and washer and dryers and all of that. But for us personally, that wasn't the purpose for us going off the grid. We wanted a more simple lifestyle, a more basic lifestyle. And if, just to say, something happened where the array would be totally wiped out, we didn't want to have uh, freezers full of food that would go bad. We didn't want to be caught with our pants down and uh, being that reliant on electricity. So we actually set it up so that this household doesn't need the solar panels. What we need is wood <laughs> for our heat and food in our pantry and the ability to get that food either by hunting or fishing or foraging or growing it in our back to Eden garden. That was a high priority. And the use of electricity really doesn't come into play because actually for us, the only time we use electricity is for some lighting a computer, you gotta charge your computer and your cell phone, and Mr. Hilder running some of his machinery for his taxidermy. So really, we didn't need to have any solar pan, but we also didn't want to live like that. You know, we, we wanted some conveniences. I, I wanted to be able to use my food processor when I cook. You know, I, I wanted to. Mr. Hiller wanted to have the ability to, to plug in his extension cord and use his bandsaw. So there, there is a need for electricity. Sometimes you just can't get around it. Now, you can live without electricity, but for us, there is no need to. We got the solar ray. It did not break the bank. In fact, this solar array, these panels were only $243 a piece added up. This is a two kilowatt array. Uh, we bought our charge controller and our inverters uh, years before we even went off the grid. And that was maybe a little over a thousand dollar investment. And the battery bank was about five, five K. So compare that to even setting up new electricity in a house. Uh, a lot less, 
a lot less than becoming connected to the grid. So for us, yes, it was a great investment that now I can say pays us back because I mean, there wasn't, there wasn't that much of a cost to get it up and running. And now we are completely free from the grid. And as I said, we're set up to not even need the electricity. We are 100% independent in our electrical needs. And if something happens to the array, like I just said, we're fine. We're good. We don't need the electricity because we set this up to be an all-encompassing, self-sustaining homestead. And, and you really do. When you set your homestead up, it's great if you, if you get the panels, and you get the wind turbine, and, you, and whatever, whatever your setup is to generate that electricity. That is an awesome way to go. But you also have to remember, worse comes to worse. you got to have a backup plan. So that's what we did. We just knew that the solar panels were going to be a comfort thing, and we still had to set it up so that we would be self-sustainable without the electricity. And we are. And the beauty of our setup is we're 100% debt-free. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no debt. <laughs> so owning all of this is a beauty. You know, the things that keep us enslaved are utility companies, the water, you know, water company, the electric company, uh, all of that. Th those are enslavements because we find ourselves dependent on all of those essentials just to, to live. So we have to pay those bills. We have to have those services. And then the other enslavement, as we know, is, is debt. Debt. Money, money, money. Now, sometimes debt serves a purpose to get you from point A to point B, but it's when that debt gets out of control and you find yourself buried alive. And many Americans find themselves buried alive at, for one reason or another. And it is, it is a tough enslavement to break. And the government doesn't want you to break it because they want people dependent. They want people enslaved. You know, they don't want people living off the grid because that's bad for business. They don't want people getting solar panels. They don't want people getting wind turbines and, and having gardens and having their own water source like we do and not having a septic and composting and having a, a big garden and not going to the grocery store uh, every single day. They don't want that because that slows down the production of all of this. And all of this is how the government pays for itself, right? The government has to pay for itself somehow and they pay for it for, out of the backs of us. On our backs. Yeah. So, well, see, I'm, I'm getting started on stuff and I shouldn't be. It's supposed to be a simple video story, but it is a simple video. This is our solar setup. It is 100% paid for, and today we're getting free electricity. Ah, I said it again, people. It's free. <laughs> so leave your comment below. <laughs> All right. Just a little starry video today to rile the troops up. God bless.